so looking at the Brandon home, looking at doing all the walls, ceiling, trim, doors throughout the house. We'll look at some various um, issues that need to be taken care of, but just kind of do a quick walkthrough. So ceiling, walls, trim, uh, spindles, handrails on the front. You've got some repair work, so some of these areas where you've got some nail holes that need to be filled and just some general holes that need to be fixed. We'll walk through and we'll see some more issues um, with the trim work. There'll be some imperfections and stuff that needs to be corrected. Some caulking on the door, or quite a bit of caulking on the doors. So you've got this family room area here. Again, it's basically from ceiling to floor, we're doing everything in those areas. You've got some imperfections here. You can see down the wall that need to be fixed. Uh, going a, a couple steps lower in the sheen will also help with that. You've got kind of this back room area here. Not doing the shelving, um, but all the ceiling, walls, doors. And then you've got some cracks here in the wall that need to be taken care of. The door, you can see how the door pretty much only has like one coat on it. So it needs some work there. You also, this is what we're talking about in the doors. You've got the caulking that's separated. So we're gonna need to redo the caulking in the door frame or the door uh, panels. Laundry room here, pretty straightforward there. No, no major issues, but again, stuff like that, just caulking along that gap right there. Same thing, we'll do all the doors, just make sure we're filling in all those gaps so that there's no cracks in there. <clears throat> Bathroom back here, ceiling, walls, trim, door, little back hallway area here. We're doing inside the closet, so all the closets would be done. Got a small repair here of a hole in the wall. Got a couple, uh, we'd be just be doing the ceiling and the walls. Down the stairwell, nothing else in the basement. Obviously we'll improve the cut lines where the walls meet your trim so they won't look like that. Kitchen area, got a small pantry here, and then kitchen. Got kind of a family area here. I'm just taking a video. Just kind of pointing out some issues and stuff like that. Got a living room area here, ceiling, walls, trim. Fireplace looks in good condition overall, um, but if you wanted us to put another coat on that, we could. Um, again, nail hole or screw hole, stuff like that. We'll take care of filling, stuff like that. Um, pretty straightforward on this area right here. Again, you've got some minor issues areas like that that we can float out and make look better overall. Looks like wallpaper was um, replaced or maybe it was some paneling. So uh, we can skim out some stuff to make it look better. Got a dining room and you can kind of see as you look down the angle of the wall, it's in pretty rough shape. So we can skim areas like this to kind of smooth them out. It's not gonna be perfect, but we can do what we can to improve stuff like that. So this room probably is gonna have the most amount of prep on the upper wall, uh, just because it's in pretty rough shape. But you, as you can see here, some of those issues. So we'll probably have to skim out the whole top half of this area. Going upstairs. Got this hallway again with the doors. You've got those cracks in the panels that need to be recalked, cut out and recalked. And you've got the walls throughout the hallway up here. This room got a little border that's actually a painted border. Uh, it's not raised. You've got a closet. It's not raised, so. I don't think we're gonna need to do much. We'll probably need to pulse in this area, this lip, but it's it's very minor as far as what's there. This room and closet, wall, ceiling, trim, doors there, nothing major there. Again, you've got the issues in the door, 
Uh, I got a black bathroom here. So talk, they're talking about going neutrals, um, some repairs there. So obviously we'll need to make sure that we get proper coverage there. So probably take two coats depending on what you, uh, what color you end up going with, but just depends. Um, if it needs a third coat, we'll put a third coat there. Bedroom here, in a closet, small little closet, nothing major in there. And then master, so the master bedroom. Got this area here, master closet, and master bedroom, or bathroom, sorry. So, there's really, in those couple upstairs bathrooms, there's no trim, it's really just walls and ceilings, um, and then the doors. So, and then you've got unpainted trim down here, so um, we wouldn't touch that unless you wanted us to. So. That's pretty much it. Again, with the door issues, that's kind of the main issue in cleaning up a lot of uh, bad painting um, that was done previous. So if you have any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to help any way I can. Thank you.